Hello everyone, today I'm going to be looking over a quick project I made in Python using the Todoist API. I'm making this project um, partly because I haven't really seen any other documentation out there for how to use the Todoist API other than the documentation. We started with a very simple problem, which is that um, I have a bunch of projects that I created, and for some very strange reason, they all are, like a lot of the extra projects I've made that don't really want to show up on the sidebar, have only emojis in their title. And I want to be able to nest them inside this uh, project called Emoji Projects. You can see I nested quite a few projects already um, that have only emojis as uh, their project name. So the question is, how could I do that before this? I had like 20 other projects or 50 other projects that are all just strewn everywhere uh, with these random emoji there titles. And so I was thinking, well, how can we automate that so I don't have to manually drag them all into the emoji projects? Um, and fortunately enough, uh, Todoist does have its own API. So they have a REST API and a sync API today. You can see both of them. The REST API is a Python package. Uh, it could be also JavaScript, but today we're going to use Python. Um, it's going to be a quick like, package that abstracts away a lot of like, the requesting and the get requests and all that stuff. Whereas the sync API is used to, do, to like, send in manual get requests to the server. Um, the REST API only covers some of the use cases. So you're going to see us use the sync API for the actual moving of the projects. So this is a Python notebook that I used um, for this project. We can run through it step by step. I'm using a Python notebook because it allows us to pause execution throughout the program. Not really pause, like, and run them into cells so that we can work on the project in like, cell by cell fashion. And it just allows me to like, uh, quickly see also like, the different values of different variables at any time. Um, yeah, let's get started. So before, first, we're going to install the necessary packages. Uh, we're going to pip free install the packages for .m, um, UID, UUID, emoji, and the Todoist API. Um, all right. After that, you're going to see we're going to load um, a my Todoist API token. This is hidden from you guys right now. Um, it's in my .m file. Um, and then after that, we're going to set the parent project ID. So this is the ID of the project that I want to nest all the emoji projects under. So that right now is, is this one, emoji projects. Um, I got its ID by listing out all of the different um, projects. You'll see that later. Um, but here are a bunch of helpful functions as well. So I'm going to import emoji. And I just made a bunch of these. I'm not all of them are going to be used. But this is just to check if a string contains emoji, starts emoji, etc. Uh, we're going to use is only emoji here. And finally, uh, we're going to uh, we're going to import the Todoist API into Python, and we're going to get the projects. So this is why I ran earlier to find the ID of the project that I want to nest everything, to get the ID of the project that I want to nest everything underneath. So we're going to call it get projects, um, and then save it in this variable called projects. You're going to say I run several list comprehension uh, things. These are just ways of filtering down um, all my projects. Um, so I'm going to, from all my projects, I'm going to first filter to only the projects where the name is only an emoji. So that's going to give me, it's going to filter down all my projects to just the ones with only emoji. And then I'm going to filter this even further by of those with only an emoji, filter the ones that don't have a parent. If they don't have a parent, then I'm going to nest them under the emoji, I mean, under that emoji project project. Um, Finally, I'm going to list that variable just so I can see um, in the display in the console um, what is going to be um, what, what uh, projects are going to be modified. All right, so load n, set the ID, set the helper function, and here we go. Okay, so as you can see right now, we actually only have about four projects that need to have this uh, editing today, which is good. Uh, I ran this already earlier, so I moved like a good thirty projects already. <laughs> Finally, here's the final step: we're going to import requests. So now this is where we're no longer going to be using we're no longer going to be using the REST API. We're going to use the sync API. Um, you're going to see that the REST API doesn't actually support moving projects. It allows editing the metadata and all that stuff, but to actually move the project to another one, we need to use the sync API and send in an API request that looks like this. All right, so you guys can see it. And so in order to do that. Um, uh, we're going to, first of all, we're going to set the headers in the request URL, and then I'm going to iterate through all the projects, these projects that I want to send to Todoist. Um, I want to like update and nest underneath that project. And then I'm going to generate a unique UUID. You're going to see the docs we need a unique UUID for each command or move command we make. So that uh, this is just like Todoist spec because they want to do a lot to like, um, to, like um, document all the different commands that we make. Uh, so that's that. Um, for the payload, unfortunately, I wasn't, I didn't know how to really encode. I kept on having issues with encoding of an array of dictionaries on Python. So I just um, guess I just put it as a giant string, and then I interpolated the three, um, the three different. Uh, variables into this. But this is the payload basically. You're setting a command, you're setting the type of the command, you're setting the UID with the UID you made. Um, and the arguments, we're going to have the ID of the project you want to move, and then the parent ID of the project you want to nest it under. And then finally, we're going to set in a get request using all three of these um, piece of information. So we're going to send out this URL using these headers, and for the parameters, we're going to set to this payload. We're going to print out that response so we know that it's successful. And so this is going to run all these projects, which we should see several um, commands, uh, um, text just be out in the console. All right, let's run it. Awesome. Okay, now if we look here, we should see them all moved. Yes, sweet. So you saw them all move up. Uh, I'm going to move out this one here because these are already nested, so they were ignored. So we can run this again just so that it applies on, on this. Let's see. Yep, all right. All right, now let's run this script again on the remaining six projects. We have a few more emojis um, on the sidebar. You can see a yarn, blue, wrench. Let's run it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this is for six. Awesome, and let's see if they've moved. Awesome, they all moved out. So as you can see now, the script has, has fully purged or moved all the different emoji projects, only emoji projects, down to the bottom of this project. 